I have a special guest <laughs> Angelica Spears and she's an artist and what school have you been going to? Living in College of Art and Design. Cool and what got you into art in the first place? Um I just I, it's kind of like a stereotypical answer but I've just always liked to draw and like do art and that's mm -hmm. pretty much like the main thing that has like made me excited about doing stuff like I always liked art classes and um I don't know, I don't really know what else I would do with my life. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes yeah. sense. So, what are, like, let's see, right now, like, what are your, like, favorite mediums to work with? Um, as of now, the only medium I really work with is oil paint, um, and charcoal. But my favorite, yeah, I would say oil paint, just because there's so much you can do and it's really forgiving, like, you can scrape it off, you can wipe it mm -hmm. off, you can repaint it if you mess up, um, you can sand it down. It's just a very forgivable medium. What kind of advice would you give to people who are like maybe like they're doing other careers or they're just like they want to get into art but they just like they're afraid they'll like be bad at it or like but they want to do it like where, where would you tell them to like start? Well I don't really think there's such a thing as natural talent with the exception of like prodigies. Um, okay. I think, I really do think anyone can be good, it's just the amount of hours you put in and how much you mm -hmm. practice. So like of course like you're not going to be good at it the first time you try something. Um, like the first time I tried oil paint I made something really bad. And yeah. <laughs> But like the more I used it the more comfortable I got with it and it became easier and same with drawing. And um, But I mean you could do, it depends like what type of art you're into. If you mm -hmm. want to learn realism you could look to um, sources on YouTube. I know it's weird, but like oh, there's actually, like, tutorials yeah. and stuff. There's a yeah. lot of helpful information. Um, if yeah. you want to draw like the figure and stuff like that, I would say to look at George Bridgman's book. Okay. Um, stuff sure. like that. Um, the Watts Atelier has really good online resources. So he has like a lot of um, okay. stuff on there. Cool. So if you go to art school, does the community of being in art school like help you out? Like what have you learned specifically from like just drawing, like, versus, like, before you went to art school, like, just drawing on your own versus, like, being around other people who are, like, all artists, like, what impact has that made? Mm, I learned that I didn't know how to draw. Right? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, um, like, going to school and being around people who know what they're doing, you mm -hmm. look at your own stuff and you're like, whoa, like, I don't really know anything at all. But oh, it's cool okay. because, like, the longer you're around people like that, you start to, like, absorb information and you mm -hmm. can, like, learn how to do things correctly, like how to create depth or an illusion or just make things look like something that you're looking at. Um, but something I have learned is, um, about being with people is that the people who try the hardest and who will, like, dedicate all of their time to art are the people that progress a lot faster. Oh, and okay. if you're, like, partying or, like, you're just hanging out with people all the time. Like, for this scene, it's, like, not even Yeah. yeah. Like, because fine art is such like a difficult path that you have mm -hmm. to be one of the best to have a good chance at making it. Yeah. And if you're not willing to like dedicate all of your time to it, you really don't have much of a chance. So, um. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. So do you, um, let's see, do you like, what does your family say like about your career? <laughs> um, my mom is supportive, but she does joke that she wishes that I had a more practical career. She um, just jokes about it. Yeah, oh, but, okay. yeah, but um, I don't know, it's, most of my family are really supportive, like my oh, sisters tell me that I'm doing like the right thing, um, and I mean, I wouldn't want to have it any other way because I, I had like a, a big like chance of doing other stuff, like I had a high GPA and like mm -hmm. I studied hard in high school and I could have yeah. gone other paths. Um, but I wouldn't want to have, like, a job that I hated, you know? Yeah, I would just feel like shit. Yeah, because, yeah, like, you only get to live once, and if you waste it just being unhappy, doing something you thought was practical, then what's the point? Yeah, it's like you're just going to be, like, always wishing, like, oh, what if? Yeah, yeah. exactly. And there, there's a lot of artists at my school, too, that are, like, older, and um, I was talking to this lady, and she mm -hmm. was a baker. She was making a lot of money. There's this other lady that um, she had kids, and she was doing like commercial art, okay. um, like graph designs type stuff. Yeah. But she hated it. Mm -hmm. And she's like 45, and she was like, "I wasted most of my life doing something wow. that my parents told me to do, and she's not happy." So wow, she that like says a lot about that. 
yeah. So I, I'd rather tackle it now than end up later realizing I hate my job. Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. Huge mistake. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Because I think one of the, like the fears people have is like they want to like make money and they want to like fit in, but it's like at the end of the day, I feel like they don't really have a lot for themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah, I completely agree. Yeah, I think that's like. I don't know. I feel like that's like one of the the like especially in today in like society, I feel like that theme is like present in like everyone's life. It's like are we gonna choose to do the thing that's like sort of scary and like that but we really like have in a vested interest in I think that's really important to like follow that. Yeah, and I mean sometimes it can be discouraging to like not have immediate success, you know, but I've talked to a lot of professors mm -hmm. and it's not the same for everyone. Yeah. Like I've I've talked to people who didn't get their first like gallery exhibition until they're 35. I've talked to people who got hired as a professor like a year after they graduated from their masters. Like it's not the same right. for everyone. Yeah. So some people get really lucky. Some people it takes a longer time, and that's okay. You just have to always like keep pushing forward and remind yourself why you got into it. Yeah, like my aunt actually, um, she lives in New Jersey, but she's like retiring this year because she got like really tired of it. Mm -hmm. Of just not, I mean, not what she was doing, but like where she was, because it was like sort of like a ghetto area. Yeah. And she like she's an art teacher, so she um she she does she does like these huge like mural things usually like that's like what she's known for, and okay. she like just I don't know she like she she told me it took like four years for her to like make like a living off of like her stuff. Yeah. But it's like now she's at the point where she's like happy and like she's successful relatively like in her terms and she's like selling stuff like at a good rate and, that's like, awesome she's really happy with it. and like she's like one of the coolest people like in my family like i'm always i always want to like spend time with her and like talk to her about stuff just because of like what she chose to do so i think it's awesome like that you're doing art thanks man fine art <laughs> <laughs> yeah hey fine art yeah. but um yeah that's that's really good that she kept like pushing forward though because it a lot of people do get really discouraged and they stop. Mm -hmm. um, I was talking to a friend and he it was kind of sad, like he, he's also one of the older um, students at my school and he said that his mom was a painter okay. and she was doing like pretty well and then mm -hmm. she started doing portraits and someone told her that her portrait sucked so she never painted again. And I thought oh, that was yeah. really sad because like she was actually really good. Um, but like I was happy that he was able to keep um, pursuing like something he loves because he has like a family and he's like already like he has another job yeah but yeah, yeah. he decided to like do what he likes to do ultimately which is cool yeah it's never too late I think yeah I think that's a good point and can you talk a little bit about this fantastic painting right oh, thank you um so for my school we have to do different painting courses mm. so last year I did painting one and this one I did painting two so we okay. have to work on a semester long painting so for that class, I had to do still life. Um, so this was a whole semester. Um, we do we work in a really long process. So for this one, I took the still life and I did um, a study. So I did one small painting of a grisaille, which is just black and white value study, and then I did okay. a separate painting that was also small, which was a color study. Um, and then I started the big one. Mm -hmm. So the big one, you just draw the whole thing. So like you um, take charcoal, you draw it, and then you use graphite and do that okay. over it so it doesn't smear, and then you seal uh, it. I see. And then you do an underpainting um, of burnt umber, and like it's a wash, and then mm -hmm. and then you paint um, the color over it. Wow, that's so, a lot of steps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it also requires multiple layers of paint. So that was mm -hmm. a lot. Um, yeah, that's why it takes a semester to finish. Oh, so half of it is, I mean, is, is half of it just like that stuff, like the pre Yeah, like, um, but that's not the only one I was doing for that class. Oh, okay. I also had to do the still life of the skull you saw in the wood, yeah. and then I had to do that master copy. So I had to do oh, three yeah. paintings for that class. Wow. Yeah. That's, I had, that's I had, really incredible. I had a lot of work. I had, a, I had five paintings to complete this semester and two large drawings. On top of like my other classes that I was taking, so yeah, it, it's a lot of work, but it's good because it it like helps you produce a large body of work and like you learn how to be faster, so that's cool. Oh yeah, it's probably like a really important skill. Like, yeah, I think that's really cool. Um, so thank you for taking this time to talk no about problem. stuff and 
talk with me. So yeah, Angelica Spears, thanks for watching and I'll be back with some more updates and more interviews in the future. And I'm glad you guys tuned in. There you have it everyone. Thanks for watching this video. We're gonna be back with some more. Catch me on my other feeds, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and we're gonna have some exciting stuff coming out for you.